Okay, this is just a quick video of getting the Revel Point dual axis turntable to move following commands from Bluetooth. This project was started by X3M Snake. You can get his information over on GritHub. The uh, link will be in the description for it. All right, what you want to do is power on the turntable. You can see that it's blinking. You want to go into the app. Uh, I'll have the link for it in a second. And go to the three lines at the top. Then you're going to click on devices. You'll see the scanner. Not the scanner, the turntable, I mean. Click it. And now it says it's connected. The green light is no longer blinking. Then you can get your commands over here, which this would be a command to turn the turntable 360 degrees. That would be the command there. All the links will be posted. This is just a quick video. You hit the send button, it sends it, turntable spins. It's going to do a 360 spin once it finished 360 it'll stop and right here i've set up some of the quick start buttons or shortcuts and you can see that they are just set up like right here for 90 degrees and using this shortcut will simply make the turntable spin 90 degrees and then stop so I'll go ahead and press that one and it's gonna do a 90 and then it'll stop and then we have this setup here is for tilt settings sorry it's a little hard to run this But this is set up for tilt, so a 15 degree tilt. And then we have a helm position tilt, which will just turn the table back to the zero position. Do another 15 the opposite direction. But all you're really doing is taking the codes that are from the grit hub. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Can't really focus, but yeah, you're taking those codes, you're copying and pasting them into the terminal and simply sending them over. There we go. And that's all you need to do to be able to control it. The Bluetooth application for Android is called Serial Bluetooth Terminal. I'll have a link in the description also for it. But this is a nice, easy semi hat to get the turntable to work without using the actual Revel software. Well, hope the video helped you.